Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Warren Bennett. We've got a beautiful afternoon out here at Chessfield, so I'm going to take advantage. We're on the second tee here, and there's a second hole behind me. And I'm going to show you something that I say a lot to my students, which is less is more. Now, if you're not sure what that means, I'm going to show you. And if you do it correctly, you can hit the ball longer, you can create more speed, and more importantly, you can create more consistency. This video is a great one for you guys who come over the top and slice it. So I'm going to get set up. We're on the tee over there behind me and I'll show you what I mean after the intro. I'll see you in a bit. Thank you folks for tuning in. As you can see, we've got a beautiful day here at Chessfield. We're on the second tee. And I'm gonna show you a great way that you can introduce a little bit more power, speed, and hopefully consistency to your game. Um, I'm gonna do this with a driver, um, but this can be done with any club in your bag. And like I said before the intro, um, one of the little sayings I have to my students is less is more. And what do I mean by that? Well, golf is all about trying to marry up all these different moving parts. You know, we can break our, our body into three parts. We've got our legs, our body, and our arms. And we see a lot of people who especially suffer from the over the top, have too much movement of their body, especially on the way down to the ball. And this creates a hell of a lot of problems in terms of weight shifting, and obviously the consistency of strike, and more importantly, slicing the ball. This way, there's less is more. I'm gonna show you a way that you can do less and it's going to hopefully achieve a little bit more strike and power. So let me show you what I mean. What I see a lot of people do is get too aggressive with their top half on the way down to the ball. What you're looking for, you're looking for your arms to drop down. Now this movement here, it's very soft and light, especially if you're doing little practice swings. You can see here, the club and my arms are going a little bit more vertical down instead of someone who'd be out to the ball a little bit too aggressively. So the one exercise for you to do is to drop your hands down before you're moving your body. You can see I've got my back to the target a little bit and my club and my arms are dropping out in front of me. Nice and light, really important to keep this very light everyone. There's not a lot of movement of my body at all. So I'm not moving my body and my chest open. I'm keeping it nice and light. My back and my shoulder, I can still see it in the corner of my eye allowing everything to drop down. Now you're in a great position to now release from here. Keep it very light, everyone. Now a little pump up here, keeping the chest, keeping the shoulders quite passive. You're doing all the work with your arms and hands. You're just dropping, the elbow touches a little bit. And then from here, you can just now release the club past your nose. And there's your classic look, a little bit exaggerated, obviously, but great for you guys who slice it. Drop release keeping my head back behind the ball and releasing my hands and arms now if you're unsure what release is release is where your right hand goes from palm up to palm down and be careful with this feeling of release everyone because people who come over the top and cut across it as soon as they try and release it, they introduce their right shoulder to it. So the feeling is just an arm and hand move, motion. So it's the motion is from the palm up to the palm down feeling in golf. And we're doing that with our arm only. We're not doing it with our shoulders. So in a golf swing, it's going to look a little bit like this. So drop down, very passive with our shoulders. Let the arms fall in front of us. And now the speed comes in. And the speed comes from, remember, release. So I'm going from palm up to palm down. And my body isn't doing a lot there. It's getting pulled along for the ride. Drop down, release. Drop down, release. Now I'm not doing that full revs yet, but you can see now I'm putting all the energy into the golf ball and the golf club, I mean. using less body and now more arms. If you're the opposite way round, 
more body, less arms, you're going to create much less power. That's one stage of the little practice swing that you can do. Nice and light. Wait for it. Release. And I'm keeping my head still. I'm still looking down at the ball and I'm releasing my club and, and my hands past me. Movement of your shoulders, then you're blending up a release. So that's stage one. Stage two is taking it through to a normal swing. Now you can break stage two down a little bit by feeling the vertical drop, so less with the body, more with the hands and arms. And you can see I finished all the way through there. So again, drop down, no movement of the head. Keep it nice and still behind the ball. Allow your arms just to drop less with the body, more with the arms and hands. Then release past. Less with the body, arms, a drop. Now the less, the more. Remember folks, especially you guys who come over the top, you're allowing the club and your arms to pull your golf swing along instead of doing that, which is doing all the motion and all the energy is created by your shoulders and your body too much. You're allowing your arms to drop and release. Keep your head behind the ball. You're dropping it in front of you. Now the speed can be generated at the bottom because it's allowed to be. You're not trying to do it too early. So remember at the start of the video, everyone, you broke your body down into three parts with your legs, body and arms. Speed comes with your hands and arms. If you're throwing a golf ball, you would do it more at the very end with your hands and arms. You wouldn't do it with your body. So natural speed, but with golf, because it's angled out in front of us, we try and get at the ball too much too quickly. But we've got to wait for this club and arms to drop behind us, and then we can introduce it at the bottom. Right, folks, let's try one. So we've got a slight wind into here, about 10 miles an hour, so nothing too heavy. But when the wind's into, especially when it's stronger, people have a tendency to get into the ball a little bit quicker, a bit more anxious, and under pressure too. So I'm just going to wait for it a little bit more and allow that club to do the work for me. So a little practice swing, I'm going to drop in front of me, nice and light everyone. Obviously you can't feel what I'm feeling, but I'm nice and light here. And I'm going to allow the club to do the work the second half. I'm going to trust that golf club to do the work here. Right, let's do one. Nice and light with the grip. Allow my arms and hands, no tension. Right, I hit that little bit out the bottom, and it went quite low. But that's not a bad thing, because that means I hit the ball on the up and not the descending blow, which is not good for a driver. And plus, we've got this wind into, like I said previous, and we've got a bit of trouble on the right-hand side, so that can produce a little bit of anxiety. So if you're ever facing a shot that you don't like, or like, was, like what was said, the wind is into, really focus on this less is more motion here. Everything's light. I'm keeping my chest looking back behind the ball. And now from here, I can allow my hands and arms to do the work from there. Right, okay. Last drive, nice and smooth transition down. That was a little bit of a better one. So remember, this is all about timing. You may not get this straight away, but if you want to go to the range and work on something um, with a purpose, this is a great one. Remember, it's a bit of a building block. You're trying to layer a nice softer transition into your golf swing, and then you can let the club face and, and your hands and arms do the work from there. Right, folks, thanks for watching. Remember, there's more speed in your hands and arms than there is in your body. You might feel there's more power in your body, but there's more speed in your hands and arms for golf. So if you want to create more power, keep looking at the video and leave a comment below. Tell me what you think. We'll do our best to get back to you. Anyway, until the next time, good golfing, and I'll speak to you then.